What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ryan Ututi, and today we're going to be playing some Balloons Tower Defense 6. And in today's video, we're going to actually be hopping in and trying out a couple of different heroes. Actually, one hero in particular, Pat Fusty. Now, there's actually a couple of heroes that I've never even really tried, right? I haven't really tried Captain Churchill. On top of that, uh, Azili, I haven't really tried them. I don't know how powerful they are. And I think we should do some videos on them because you guys really liked the last video I did on top of uh, Quincy seeing how powerful he is. So we're we're gonna be diving into Pat Busty. Is he as powerful as he looks? Is he as mighty and strong? I don't know. We're gonna find out. And if you guys are enjoying this series, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, as well as turning on some notifications. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is if you go into your uh, thing about Bobber right here, and you go to your heroes, and you have hero knowledge, there is three upgrades that I actually didn't have, which would have been a huge boost the last video. The first one, hero level 10 ability, cooldowns reduced by 10%. That's pretty good. Here, level 20, heroes level 3 ability, cooldown reduced by 40%, which is insane. And then right here, uh, this one, heroes do plus one extra damage to Moab class balloons with their base attack. I have to sneeze. Ah Thank you guys for being there to witness that sneeze, okay? And so we're gonna get that. So now he does extra damage. So, and by the way, we have our heroes maxed out now, which is pretty awesome. So without further ado, let's head into the video. So we're gonna need something where Pat Fusty is gonna be able to just wail on balloons, right? Normally, I, I think Cubism is just the best map for this, right? Because their balloons go through so many one like little areas, it just gives the best opportunity for us, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're obviously, we're gonna play in the hardest difficulty because I think that's, I think it's important. We have to see how strong he really is. So we're gonna play on the hardest difficulty because we saw from the last video is pretty insane so the idea with this is oh, wait, wait wait okay let's see what's the best what's his range he has like he's a melee tower i think we're gonna want to put him here right because he has like no range so the balloons go here and he can hit them and then they go here he can hit them and then they have to go all the way around and then they go to here he can hit them and okay so the best spot's probably gonna be here honestly i'd say this spot but he can't fit there so we're gonna put him here okay so there's Pat Fusty. So he's gonna do some pretty crazy damage. Uh, rallying roll. All nearby monkeys can pop plus one layer in the last seven seconds. Well, that's kind of useless because we're not gonna have any other towers for the most part. Because we're just gonna need as much. We're just gonna need um, things that boost him. So he punches balloon. And he does. A, he actually pops a lot of balloons. He actually does a really good job of that. So we're gonna need to definitely increase his attack speed though. His attack speed. That needs to be boost, right? So obviously what we can do is we can get ourselves an energizing totem because that just makes him attack faster, right? As you can see, it makes him attack 25% faster and we can just constantly keep him boosted like that. And now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get some money, okay? Actually, what we can go ahead and do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some money drops. Just not, not a ton, just enough to get us started because this is gonna be pretty expensive. So if we can just start off with a little bit of money, it's gonna make our lives a lot easier, okay? Let's go ahead, let's get ourselves a monkey farmer. We're gonna put our monkey farmer up here, just kind of out of the way, you know? And then we can go ahead and let's go ahead and start putting down, oh, I can I not put, oh, what a waste. What an absolute waste, that's okay. There we go, banana plantation. Let's go ahead, he actually can pop level, layer three balloons. That's crazy. Just with one punch, you just go shwack, and then you're just done. Okay, there we go. So we have two banana plantations already going. Ooh, wait, we need to recharge this because he's not attacking fast enough right now. We're gonna, we need to start boosting him. We need, we need to definitely boost him. Oh, we have, we can do the rallying roar, which makes him attack. What does rallying roar do? It just gives him plus one pop, I think. Increased attack speed. So once he levels up, he's gonna have even more attack speed, which is really, really nice. He's popped how many balloons? 567 so far. He's not he's not that great so far. I'm I'm a little worried. I'm I'm a little worried. He can't he seems like he can't actually I don't know. He has a pretty powerful popping thing. Sometimes there's a powerful slam that pushes balloons away from the exit. That's gonna be really nice. That's gonna be really, really nice. All right, well, let's go keep going because we're going to need more banana plantations. We just need as many banana plantations as we can get our hands on, right? The more that we have, the more money that we're going to be able to have, the, the more upgrades we're going to be able to put on Pat, Mr. Mr. Pat, right? He's just crushing balloons right now. I love how it's like a melee tower and he just like slam dunks them, right? There we go. He's popped a thousand balloons. Still, I'm not, I'm not convinced that he's as strong as Quincy, but he's pretty good. Especially when Moab's, when Moab starts showing up, I think he's going to be able to deal with them pretty easily. There we go. Nothing's gotten by us. 
I think what I might want to do though is I think I want to get a village, right? I think we're going to want to get the village and then we're going to do the bigger radius and we want jungle drums. Jungle drums is going to be really, really nice. And let's recharge that because, oh no, a pink balloon got by, but it's fine because I have some of these down. And globe rocker. And we're going to want radar scanner. Let's boost them. Why does sometimes they turn into red balloons? I'm not sure. Sometimes like they just get by and I'm not entirely sure. It's, it just doesn't make sense. He's not doing that great so far, but sometimes, wait, let's look at his upgrades. Let's look at his upgrades. So level five, sometimes does a powerful slam. That's going to be important. Uh, balloons stuck by Pat are stunned. Okay, that's going to be good. Increased popping power, increased attack speed, increased attack range. Big squeeze, grabs a Moab, BFB, DDD, or ZOMG and crushes it to bits over five seconds. That's going to be really nice. Attack pops more layers. Increased attack speed. Attack stuns balloon for longer and can some Moab classes very briefly. Uh, rattling roar, increased radius and duration, plus increased damage to ceramics and Moabs. Uh, slap attacks can affect more balloons. That's really nice. Increased attack range. Increased attack speed. Increased popping power. Attack pops more layers. And then level 20, big squeeze and grab several big balloons at once. So that's what we're dealing with right now. And basically, we just need money. That That's really, that's what it comes down to, is we just need money. All right, we're going to just keep upgrading. I want to get this to the next banana plantation. And then, boop. Okay, there's our banana plantation. How's this guy doing? All right, well, you want to recharge that. I want to get... Oof, this is a little scary. I need him to level up. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, so that's... There we go. So he does the the uh, the ground pound pretty, pretty frequently, actually. I'm happy with that. It's just he doesn't really attack fast enough for us right now, right? The balloons are kind of getting by because he just... He doesn't attack fast enough, which is kind of a problem, right? How much does this cost for the banana research? 20,000. I'd really like to get... Let's go ahead and get ourselves a brewmaster. Here, let's go ahead. We can get ourselves a brewmaster. And we're just going to give him the larger potion and then berserker brew. And boom, stronger stimulant. So we're just going to put that on. And now he's going to have that, that effect where he can just punch more balloons. Ooh, no, 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 radar scanner. There we go. Okay. That was a little bit spooky, but we're fine. There's the Monkey Intelligence Bureau. So we can pretty much hit all types of balloons right now, which is really important. There we go. I wanted to save up money because I want to get the Banana Research Facility. The one problem with playing on hard difficulty is everything's so expensive. Like, everything costs so much. When, wait, he, at level 10 he gets his thing. I really hope he gets level 10 before round 40 because he's actually doing a great job. This guy, Alchemist, is popping a lot of balloons, but it's not like a lot, a lot of balloons. We've already had this conversation where I feel like the Alchemist pops such an insignificant amount of balloons that it doesn't really matter. Pat Fussy's actually doing a pretty good job so far. Now that we've got a couple of boosts for him, he's able to deal with just those balloons, like, by himself. He's doing a pretty good job, right? We need the 20,000 for our first banana research facility. It's it's coming up faster than we originally thought. And now that he, now he's stunning balloons. And now that he stuns balloons, it's actually making our lives much, much easier. What turns the balloons a different color? So larger potions, a larger splash in a larger area. Throws a potion at monkeys, allowing them to pop lead balloons, do extra damage to ceramics and mob class balloons, wears off quickly. Special brew gives monkey extra damage range and attack speed, and then strong assuming extra strong brew has even more powerful effect on the, the target lasts even longer. So that's why we I want to keep boosting him and have so he has the effect so he just does more damage. I think that might be what the effect does, but I I really don't know what that acid effect is. All right, there we go. First banana research facility up and running. That's gonna start making us a lot more money. So we just gotta keep getting that. Are we at double speed? No, we're not. There we go. And do I want to recharge that? I guess there's really no point, right? The, once we're having a little bit of troubles, I can I can boost it. But for now, we want to just save up money. We're going to want to get an engineer here in a second. Uh, but I think we'll get... Right now, we're not really having any major issues, right? Whenever we have a problem, we can just... We can recharge this. He's... Here, we can just do that, right? Because as soon as we do that, he attacks so fast, he just pops everything that comes his way. He kind of... What, he is starting to get really the fact that we stun balloons is really important once his increased popping power that's actually going to be really really nice when does he get that the next level okay well he just he just going to town he's popped six thousand balloons so far which is glorious i love watching him pop balloons we have the permanent brew, but i really don't i don't care for that there we go banana research facility there's the next one see they're they're starting to make us more money okay we need we need increased popping power come on oh increased oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. there we go Oh, level 7 is so... No, his attack speed goes up next time he levels up. That's going to be perfect. That's going to be just what we need. Oh, but he's not ready to deal with the Moab. 
We're not ready, and it's almost round 40 when the first Moab shows up. <sighs> we might have to spend the money on Pat himself. No, no, no. We're going to get an engineer. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to put an engineer in the bottom left corner so he's not going to do anything. And then cleansing foam. Overclock. Boom. So I got overclock so I can put the overclock ability on him. Okay, there we go. So I now, now I have overclock. So if I have to, I'll be able to put overclock on him to be able to defeat him. So we're going to recharge this. And the first Moab balloon is going to show up. And I'm a little bit scared that he doesn't do enough damage. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Okay, boost him. Oh, he pushes it back. Oh, wait! The Moab actually can't get by because he keeps just pushing it back. So there's no, so it literally just can't get by. And now he just whacks on it. That's actually so cool! So we don't have to worry about Moabs, really. He's doing it. We're at round 40 already, and by himself, he's doing everything. And now that he's overclocked, look at that. He does so much damage. That's great. That effect lasts a really long time. We can just, we can actually constantly keep that on him. We gotta, and then we can, we can do the roar, too. Look how fast he's attacking! This is crazy. This is amazing. And we're still not even ready. Like, we, we haven't boosted him to the full the full possibility that he'll be able to be boosted to. We have a couple of more upgrades that he needs to get. Because we want to get the uh, the permanent brew effect. That's going to be really nice. The banana research facility. All right, we have four banana research facilities. That should be enough. Because all we really need now is we need to... Let's think. Let's think. Let's get, let's get call to arms. Because it gives nearby monkeys 50% attack speed and pops for 10 seconds. That's huge. That's really, really important that he gets that. Uh, I'm going to recharge this. We're at round 45. And he's doing an amazing job so far. He's taking out all the balloons. He's just shrek, 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 shrek. He's popped how many? 17,000 balloons so far. He doesn't care. I wonder if he is going to be as strong as Quincy. Because he, he might not attack as fast as Quincy, but he's going to do a ton of damage. Because he's not even fully done yet. And he's just, no balloons are even getting close to getting by him. I was a little worried at the start, but this seems to be going by just fine. And like, we can just, we can overclock him and look how fast he attacks. And then rallying roar. This is great. And he's only level 8 right now. Like, he still has a long way to go. And we boost him here. Look how fast he attacks. And he just one-shots everything. Just punch, 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 punch. And not, he doesn't one-shot necessarily everything, but he does a pretty good job considering, right? We have $20,000. I think we want to save up and we can get this engineer, which is $129,000. That is so expensive, but it's so worth it. We really need to get that. That's our next big upgrade that we're going to start saving saving up for, right? Uh, we can just do that. One. Does that last? Well, we just want to keep constantly. Look at that. Look at him go. Look at him attack all the balloons. He attacks so fast. I'm so glad he has an AoE punch because if he didn't have an AoE punch, I don't think it'd be worth it. I, I think he'd be such a bad tower, but since he has that AoE punch, he's insane. This is what, see the, this guy, okay, here we go, we're up against the Moab. Yeah, he just, he just pushes the Moab back. That's insane. It takes a little bit of time, but he just, he, every time he punches it, so the balloons have to go back constantly as well. We're at $57,000. We want to get that, we want to get the upgraded engineer, we want to get the homeland defense, and then we want to start just upgrading Pat Fusty himself. There's no other upgrades that are going to be really really important we're actually going to want to get the nuclear submarine eventually because that decreases the cooldowns of stuff which is going to be really 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 nice to have there we go we're going to put this on see once we hit all the effects and we put all the special effects he, atta he attacks so fast it's crazy how many balloons last time it was 17,000 33,000 balloons is how many he's popped yeah okay we have two moabs now let's see how well he can deal with that he just pushes them back he literally just slams the ground and pushes both of them back that's amazing. They actually, not, they can't get by. The fact that it pushes back Moab balloons is so powerful. We're at, we have $81,000. We need $129,000 in order to get the overcharge ability, which is very important to get, right? Because with the overcharge ability, that's going to allow us to get uh, him to incredibly fast attack speeds, right? Because every time it leaves a lingering effect on him, which is just nice, right? It's just very important to have. I love, look at all the effects he has on him right now. He has so many. What is that? No, oh, some of the effects just, they like, they wear off and they come, they come again eventually. It takes so long to destroy Moab balloons. It's kind of annoying. Here's the question though. Once he's level 10, does he stop attacking when he's hugging a balloon? Do you, you know, I wonder, I wonder. It's a, that's a very valid question, right? Because if he just hugs a, like hugs a Moab, it could, it might not be worth it. Oh my gosh, look how fast he's attacking. Look, look. Oh my goodness, he attacks so fast when you use everything. And he's going to be attacking even faster. 
I love how fast you can make things attack in this game. Okay, this this is a little annoying that it takes so long to destroy a Moa Bloom because he just pushes it back constantly. But I guess it's good. It's so satisfying. So this guy this guy has popped 3,000 balloons. So he's popped an okay amount, but not really anything um, to like be worth talking about. Oh no. Okay, we got we got to boost we got to boost them. Balloon, some balloons are trying to get by on us, and we're not having that. We're at hundred thousand dollars. Still not enough to get that to get that one upgrade though, because it's cost one hundred twenty nine thousand, and that's pretty expensive. Rally and cry. How close are you? He's he's working on it. There's his level right there. I really don't know what like considers XP. I'm not entirely sure what like what is needed for that. But all right, we're at one hundred twenty three thousand. We're getting there. We're getting so close. All right, boost him again. Go, go, go. Let's recharge it. I don't know whether or not, like, it's actually, like, recharged or dead a lot of the times, the totem. I think it's kind of bugged sometimes. We're at 124,000. We're so close, but yet so far it seems like. All right, we're at 50,000 pops. This is, this is perfect. Boost them again. Rally and cry. Go, go, go. 130,000. Okay, boom. All right, we just got the ultra boost ability. So now we can constantly keep ultra boosting them. We're going to want the nuclear submarine, but how much does that cost? Is it really energizer? That's 34,000. Ugh, it's expensive, but worth it. It's very expensive, but it's very worth it. Wait, is it, does it have to be in range? Reduce the ability cooldowns everywhere by 20% while in radius. Heroes earn 50% fast XP faster and water monkeys ability cooldowns. So that would actually be really nice to know because if he gained XP 50% faster, that would be amazing. But he's not going to be in range, unfortunately. So that's going to be a problem, but I'd rather have the, the cooldown. So we want to keep boosting him because remember, every time we boost him, it gets a little bit stronger. We're going to want Homeland Defense because ability affects all monkeys and is for 20 seconds. And so the, the fact that it just lasts longer is really, really nice. Hey, we finally got that, this thing. Let's use it. What happens? Oh, look, he's like, he got a, he looks way cooler now. He's got like the bandana on. He's like, yeah, come at me. Roar! Oh, there we go. The next one. Keep doing this. Because we remember, for those of you who don't know, oh, here we go. Wait, I can just use this ability and I can just get the BFB, right? Let's see. That's awesome. That's so cool. He, yeah, he just pops the balloon. All right, what happened? So I don't know. So he, he, it takes five seconds for him to pop it, but I don't know if other balloons can get by in the process. That's so cool. That's so cool that it works like that. All right, let's get the energizer. Uh-oh, uh-oh, boost him. Rally and cry. There we go. Oh, yeah, balloons get by. So I actually can't use that ability. I have to be very strategic about using that ability. Otherwise, he's just gonna let him. He's just gonna let him out. Look, he's like hit. He's like taking on three Moabs at once. Go, Pat Fusty. Go. Keep upgrading him. Okay. We're at 130 or 13,000. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to do the balloon squeeze thing because he just does more damage anyways. We're like, cause, cause look, if he squeezes it, look at all the balloons that just get by. We can't. We can't allow that. That's just not. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it letting all those balloons by. We, we can't, unfortunately, we just can't have it. The permanent brew bur becomes permanent on monkeys who drink it. Um, I probably do want to get the permanent brew eventually, but I don't know how important it is. How many, bo how many boosts have we put on this guy? He's at four. He's not even halfway to getting like the max here. Actually, we can, we can do this because we can pop these Moabs because it's like fortified. So it's just, e it's just easier to do that, right? All right, 63. We're going to instantly take out that ZOMG, though. That's going to be really nice. Go, go, boost them! How much do, How much are these so far? 19,000 each. Okay. So it's not amazing, but it's pretty good, you know? How many balloons does he pop so far? I'm a little worried he might not be able to deal with some of the later rounds. He's starting to have some troubles. But then again, he is only level 10, right? So we're going to want to start leveling him up soon. Let's do... All right, Homeland Defense. Boom! Okay, we got Homeland Defense, so we can just start doing that so we just... That's so many fortified Moabs. This is going to take forever for him to pop it. It's going to take, it's literally going to take five ever. He's been boosted seven times. Look how fast he attacks. It's kind of, it's good and bad that he pushes the Moabs back because it just makes the game last so much longer than it really needs to. Because it's just like, well, great. All right, just keep going. All right, we're going to, we're just going to pop the, pop, pop the Moabs as soon as they walk by. All right, keep, keep attacking him. He's boosted eight times. 
and he still has a couple of things where attack pops more layers like he has a lot more to go so we need to get the permanent brew which is 64,000 and then once we get the permanent ooh, we can recharge that look how fast he's attacking right now he's insane Look at, look at the pops. He's almost popped 100,000. And he's going to be attacking even faster because he's only level 10. He hasn't even been maxed out yet. So I'm very excited to see where this goes. Look, I love this. This is satisfying. This is so satisfying. Watch this. Ultra boost him again. He attacks so fast. Go! Oh, no. Here comes a BF. Here comes a couple of BFBs. All right. This is, this is okay. Look, look how fast he just destroys them. He just annihilates him. Is that 10? There we go. That's 10. So he's basically maxed out on attack speed now until we start leveling him up. I want to get the permanent brew because that's going to be the best thing that we can get for him. And we're just going to keep using those abilities to just boost him like crazy. The energizing totem doesn't need to be refilled yet, so we're fine on that. These give us 19,000 each. We're going to hold on to him for now. We're going to see. I think he's going to be able to defeat his OMG. I don't think he's going to actually have any real problems. There we go. Once he's level 20 and he can, like, hold more ZOMGs or, or hold, like, multiple balloons, that's going to be really, really nice. And he just starts whacking on stuff, right? There we go. He's at over, over 100,000. And we, just, we can just keep boosting him. This thing, I don't think is really, like, the, the rallying cry isn't great because it's kind of, it's supposed to affect other towers. So I don't know if it affects himself. I think it does. Wait, does it? Let me see. If I use it, does he get the boost? He does get the rally and cry boost on top of that. So I'm assuming I'm assuming that it works. It has to. Keep going. Keep going, Pat Fusty. You got this. We're at $33,000. I feel like we're like making a substantial less amount of money. I think it's just because each round takes so long now because of all the Moabs. It just takes so much time. He pops the Moab, but you don't get, I feel like you don't get money for popping the Moab. Like it just instantly happens, right? So it's not really that good. It's okay. What is, he's level 11. What's he? Attack, increased attack speed. You guys know I'm all about getting increased attack speed. The, the permanent brew costs 64,000. That's so expensive. How much, how many is this guy pop? 7,000. So that, that is a lot, but it's nothing compared to his 130,000. And I'm sure like he would have been able to defend it without the brewmaster anyway, so... We, we've all, we've, we've, oh, whoops, I accidentally boosted, <laughs> I, I boosted the monkey village on accident, lols. Oh my gosh, he's popping so many balloons! Keep going! We're gonna want to start buying upgrades for Pat Fusty too, as soon as we can. Is it really worth it to get the stronger stimulant? How long does he not have this effect on? It might honestly not even be worth it. To get, like, the final permanent brew. I don't know, sometimes he just doesn't have the effect on. Like the, let's see, wait, wait. All right, let's see, is there any time when he doesn't have the permanent brew, the, the brew effect on? No, he, no, he always has the brew effect on. So we actually don't need that. So what we can do is we can just start buying upgrades for him. So increased attack speed, attack stun, balloons, and can stun Moab classes very briefly. Rallying Roid, increased radius and duration, plus increased damage to ceramics and clot, okay. Slap attack can affect more balloons. There we go. Oh, look at him stun Moabs now. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, look how fast he attacks. Go. Okay, what level is he? He's level 15. Ugh. I don't know if we're going to have enough money. We're going to try to save up as much money as we can. Yeah, these are pretty much maxed out for the most part. Yeah, because look, look at him. Look at him stun that guy. Look, it's permanently stunned. They're permanently stunned. It can't get by. He attacks so fast because it's supposed to briefly stun them. But he attacks so fast, it perma stuns them. Literally no balloons can get by because he hits so fast and because of the AOE ability. That's so broken. Increased attack range. Oh, that's great. Increased attack speed. Level 17. We need to get him to level 20 ASAP. All right. Every chance we get. Okay. Once he gets to like, so he's level 16 and it costs like 20,000. If we sold everything, it would be kind of close. But I don't want to be kind of close. I want to guarantee that we get this guy to level 20 before the ZOMG gets here. Because this is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. All right, we're at 17,000. We need 20,000 to be able to get the next level. If he was in the range of the monkey sub, he would have already been level 20 by now. And I, I got to keep that in mind for the next the next uh, hero that we do. We got to make sure it's in the range of the nuclear, the, the monkey sub. Because that's just, that's just too OP. Do I have... Let me look at Insta Monkeys. Do I have... I do! I have a 4-0 submarine. It's not max, but 
still, that's something. I have to remember that for the next time we, we do this. All right, 20,000. Okay, increased attack speed. Increased popping power, which costs $26,000. Okay, so he has three more levels. Look at that. It's perma stun. We got to get him to level 20. I want to see him just instantly destroy his OMG balloon. He's too powerful. He cannot be stopped. He's a madman. Okay, he's an absolute madman. Brrr. Let's get... I think that's enough money. I'm gonna... Look, it takes so long for him to pop pop these balloons sometimes. It takes... It's so tedious. It's so tedious because it, like, sends them back. See, BFBs are great because they, they don't get affected by it. So they just get... They just sat there and they're just perma-stunned. Look how fast he attacks. You can't even see him move. He attacks so fast. He's just glitching out. Ooh, increased popping power. Okay, so level 18. We can sell all of these now. We can literally sell. We don't need any of these anymore because we can sell everything. And that's 80,000. And then boom, boom. Big squeeze. There, he's maxed out. Now he's got red hair. Big squeeze can grab several big balloons at once. This is glorious. I mean, so... There we go. Just keep grabbing balloons. There we go. There we go. This is looking way better. Okay. Because it... Oh, Okay. All right, we're going we're gonna to try this out. Look at all... So here's all the BFEs. Here they come. And boom. Let's use this ability. He just popped all of them. He actually just popped all of them. Go, Pat Fusty! There we go. Just keep grabbing them. I like when you grab them because then it lets him out and then he just wails on him. And let's get a normal engineer. I don't know if it actually matters. But let's just get a normal engineer and get this overclock ability. And just have like a couple of overclock, like overclock engineers. I have nothing else to spend my money on. So I might as well. I don't know if it stacks. But we're going to put both of those on. Are we on double speed? Oh, we are. He's popped over 260,000 balloons so far. Look at that. He just instantly annihilates them. There we go. And boom, go! He attacks so fast. He attacks so fast. All right, round 79. Look at that. Look at that. He just annihilates them. All right, here comes a BFB. All right, rallying. Look at that. Look at that. It's in disgusting. I, I keep forgetting. Like, I was not expecting him to be this overpowered. But trust me, guys. He is this overpowered. What even is happening? Keep going. Oh no, it's a fortified. It's a fortified BFB. It's two fortified BFBs. Fortunately for us, there's literally no way they can get through because he punches them so fast. He's insane. He's insane. Look at him go. All right, boost him again. Rally and cry. I love this. We just gotta, we gotta use the balloon hug more. It's kind of annoying because while he's hugging balloon, he can't attack other things. Okay, here we go. Here comes the ZOMG, guys. Well, I want to see how crazy this is going to be. All right, I am so excited to see you. I want to see him just fight it. I don't want him to even hug it. I want him just... There we go. Let's see how fast he pops it. Okay. Okay, What? and then just hugs it? There we go. Look at all Look at all of them. There's literally nothing they can do. Here, let's just... Let's hug some, and then let him, let him come through, and then just GG. And that's that, guys. Victory is ours, guys. We beat the hard difficulty using just Pat Fusty. That's awesome. If you guys enjoyed, remember to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel as well as turning on notifications. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody. Whoa!